guys just don't get it. You're just thinking about it too much. Oh, and what are you thinking about, Socrates? Well, now you've got me thinking about the Combine. Yeah, and how they need a better name, right? No. I mean, if we should really be working for them. I don't see why not. If you can't beat them, join them. Besides, with our job skills, what's the alternative? Garbage collector? Well, we could always join the Rebels. Oh, please. The Rebels are idiots. What makes you say that? Because they're all heart and no brain. If you look at the big picture, they may as well be fighting the aliens with Nerf ball guns. Oh, it can't be that bad. They wouldn't be fighting if they didn't think they had a chance. I understand where they're coming from. Nobody's holding hands and singing joy to the world since the aliens showed up and kicked our ass. Let's look at the facts. The aliens conquered us in a matter of hours. The entire planet. Isn't that what we call the invasion now? The seven hour war? You know why? Because it lasted seven- Because it lasted seven hours! That's why! Most people are at work longer than that. That means that in less time than it takes for Joe Average to clock in and clock out at the office, the aliens conquered the whole Earth, whereas all Joe did was make some spreadsheets. Well, that's because they caught us off guard. Okay, let's say we were ready for them. Then what? We call it the 10-hour war? The torrent was like a pack of wolves. The rebels just aren't doing the math on this. Look, who has more fighters? The rebels or the aliens? The aliens? Who has more resources? The aliens? Who has way better technology? Yeah, I see your point. Hey, I got a stupid question. What's that? What do the Combine look like, anyway? You know, I'm not sure either. That's how good they are. It's not like they showed up themselves to conquer the Earth. No, they were kicking it back at their homeworld, sipping alien martinis, while they sent another alien race they had already conquered to come conquer us for them. Now that's just slick. Wow, and now we're working for them. Yeah, it's the pyramid scheme from hell. So, you still want to join the rebels? Maybe not. You're making them sound stupid. Yeah, well, I think cows are stupid too. But does that make them stupid? Yeah, well, what? Forget it. Just think about things before you hey, go and- check it out. What? Another pigeon? Sweet. It's my turn, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. You see anybody coming? Nah, I think you're good. Okay, pigeon. You're mine. Ready? Hey? Oh my god, look out! Uh -huh. You ass! Haha, <laughs> you suck. Here, let me show you how it's done. Damn! How'd you get to be such a good shot? Just lots of time down at the range. I find it's easier if you take people's faces over the targets. Hell, I've even used yours a couple of times. I usually pull out the face of the target though, so I just bring them home and draw smiley faces in the gaps and use it to decorate my apartment. Thanks for sharing that, Dave. It's good to know you're not psycho or anything. Hey, do you hear that? Yeah, that's me, silly. Oh, that deeper sound. probably gonna kill you anyway. Hey, if it kills me, it's gonna kill you too. I don't know why you sound so calm about this. Of course it won't. Big alien robot things love me. I mean, look at him. He's just a big friendly guy. Dave, this isn't a straight dog. 
I shall call you Simba. What's that? An alien greeting. Wait, no it's not. That's from a movie. That's not going to help us. Of course it will. Simba understands what I'm saying. Isn't that right, Simba? Watch. Alright, I'm going to start walking away slowly. If you want to do your steak charming routine there, knock yourself out. Okay, maybe not. Ah. Hey, look out! It's going to... Very nice. Bad Simba. Mike? Dave! Yeah? You're dead! As soon as I can walk again! Quiet, Simba. 